I was kind of forced to get into short shorts because nobody is doing bikers anymore. Very freaking stretchy. Look at that, so opaque. Stitched in scratch. That's exactly what I don't like. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Kayla Lachey, aka your virtual fitness bestie. Today I have yet another Amazon activewear review. And today I'm getting into some shorts. These just came out from one of my favorite similar sellers to Honor Active. So I will link you guys below to these so you guys can check them out. These are called the Soul Shorts. And like I said, they're supposed to be very similar to the Honor Active Effortless short shorts so these ones do have an inseam of 4.5 i will measure these they looked pretty consistent when i flat laid them with the waistbands and stuff so i will insert clips of that along with color comparisons to the honor active shades that i have in my collection so i wanted to give you guys a little bit of my thoughts on these new shorts that just came out and honestly first touch they remind me a lot of the og material like my og sage and deep taupe where it's a little bit more thick than the newer releases that honor active has been coming out with like the charged orange and basically all the new ones from the past few months so four-way stretch seamless material you guys like i'm really loving this type of fabric i feel supported and i feel like this is very sweat wicking and it's breathable material so if you guys haven't seen my review on this amazon seller in the full length leggings definitely check that out i'll link it in the cards for you this is essentially just the short version, so very freaking stretchy. These do come in sizes small to extra large. I do feel like if you're in between sizes, you could size up, but if you want a more tight compressed fit and you're also in between sizes like me, I'm in between small and medium, then you can definitely go with your smaller size. I don't really recommend sizing down per se, but this fabric will definitely feel like skin and it's very like it moves with your body so when you're squatting you're walking around you're jogging whatever you have to do bending over it moves with you and the waistband also moves with you like it's not a stiff waistband like honor actives effortless from let's say 12 days of gains this waistband reminds me a lot of the og honor active waistband and i'll also insert flat lays of that so you guys can see how thick it is in comparison to the og versus the 12 days of gains and then also the most recent effortless drop from charged orange as a little bit of a comparison and as far as price point because you guys know i have been really trying to ball in a budget and these retail for $19.99 on amazon compared to honor active's $45 that means i've been able to get my hands on more colors without having to break the bank and i just feel like active wear with this seamless fabric really shouldn't be $50, $70 that most brands are charging when Amazon is really killing it with the way that they are constructing these. So if you guys are familiar with Effortless, it has a very similar two-tier waistband with some seam details going along the sides of the front. Of course, we love Effortless because it curves with the contour detail, which literally looks identical to these. And it also has like a mesh breathable panel in between the glute contour where it scoops underneath the glutes it also has a similar scrunch where it's a lot shorter and it sits lower on the glutes compared to something like an alphalete amplify where their scrunch goes up my back so i want to show you guys a look of the inside of the scrunch and this looks very similar to my effortless ones where they actually stitch it in so it's more durable and less prone to breakage so hopefully you guys can see that. Quick little scrunch comparison. So this was the, like one of the most recent drops, which is the charged orange. See how it's very short and it comes about half an inch from the gusset seam. And it's also slightly crinkled and stitched in. I'll show you the inside compared to this one. Again, very similar in height. I would say this one sits a little bit closer to the crotch gusset, maybe like a quarter of an inch away instead of half of an inch. Still very low 
um, and you don't really see it, like I said. So definitely recommend pulling the material into the glutes so that you get the scrunch separation without having to see just a panel of a scrunch in between your cheeks. So if you want more material to play with, always recommend sizing up, but it's very durable and stretchy just like these, and they almost stretch out the same. This scrunch didn't really sit the same as my OGs, I noticed that probably because of the material, but the construction of this one looks a little crazy, right? But that's because it's supposed to be more durable than like an Amplify versus the inside of the Amazon, which guys, wow, it looks the same. Maybe a little more scrunched. So don't be alarmed if you open it up and you're like, what the heck? Girl, it's the same thing. Okay, stitched in scratch. Really nice stitching. Like I didn't have any frays like I've been getting with my Honor Active ones. It's like a little piece there. I'd say there's a little more slight tightness around this seam compared to the Amazon one is a little bit more forgiving around the thigh area. Oh yeah, you can definitely feel these seams here. These ones I didn't. Nope, these are definitely more stretchy around the thigh. As far as the gusset, this one doesn't have a traditional triangle gusset. This one has like two stitched seams going down the inner thigh just like that to help with chafing and camel issues. So this one I believe is supposed to be like the minky shade, which I think is pretty similar to my minky biker shorts. Really nice gray, like a mushroomy, almost slightly brown, but majority gray. And these do come in about 16 colors on the Amazon page. I don't even have all of them. I picked like the fun bright colors because we're in summer right now. But if you're looking for similar colors like minky and deep taupe and coal, black, they have all of those basics and those staples that I feel like a lot of us reach for. So these are both like the Minky. This one's the Amazon. This one is the Honor Active. I think these are very, very comparable. I will say I think the Honor Active one is a little bit more dirty, like a little more taupey, I would say. This one's slightly lighter, but they honestly look very comparable. If I had these on in two different pictures, I would not be able to tell which would be which. So if you like the Minky shade, definitely check out the Amazon version. This one is what I was saying was very comparable to Honor Active's Electric Blue, which unfortunately, or fortunately, I only have in the bra, which does tend to vary from the legging material at Honor Active, so take that as you will, but I think this is a cute combo if you only have the Electric Blue sports bra like me. Literally the same freaking color, except this one doesn't have any marling, whereas the Amazon shorts do. I think they're easily able to be mixed and matched, like I said, with Honor Active pieces, and I have so many bras from them, but I don't have like this color in the leggings from Honor. So that's why I was like, oh, I should pick these up in these shorts. So literally look the same to me. This is the Amazon version, which I said was probably the most closest to the Honor Active's copper. Now these are the biker shorts, so I'll compare the inseam length to those for you guys in a second. But I also wanted to point out the logo, how it's in the same placement. And again, this one resembles more of the OG Effortless when it was printed on. So if you don't want this to come off, definitely don't pop these in the dryer. And I don't recommend drying your activewear anyway because it can pill, especially with a delicate seamless like this fabric. So always recommend washing with cold, no fabric softener, and hanging up to dry. But these feel very similar to me as well. And then I'll give you guys a little flat lay. Again, of course, this one's more orangey. This one's more copper. But still, I would say they're both in the orange family. So, length between the shorts and then a biker. This is why I love bikers. You just get more fabric to play with. And I feel like it flatters the glutes a little bit better and creates more of like a shelf under booty situation. 
This is the Amazon shorts, and I feel like the only thing I have to compare would be the Honor Active Midnight. Definitely two different colors. I think this one is a little bit more vibrant. Also has darker marling, as I had mentioned. It kind of pulls like this color within the marl. I do think blues are so easy though to mix and match other shades of blue, whether you want to do something light. Um, like a baby blue or something more vibrant like this as well so you definitely don't need a matching set with these i do wish they came up with matching bras on amazon though for the girls that do like matching sets or decide one day i'm into it the next day i'm not but i do feel like this one is definitely more of a vibrant like i said i thought it would be navy until i compared it to this but definitely more on the vibrant side amazon purple shorts Sorry guys, I'm zoomed in. And then like the Amazon Amethyst ones. I don't have any of these in Honor Active. And if I did order them, I've returned. This one is the Grape Purple. I think this low-key goes really nicely with either or. Because it's, I don't know, not, maybe it is in the same family, blue-based. But it's such a cute combo. I need to put these in the wash. Um, these look kind of blue in comparison to this shade. But regardless, I feel like these are colors that you can mix and match with literally anything. So I wanted to kind of throw that little comparison in here. The makeup of the Amazon fabric, I'll also add the comparison to the Honor Active ones on the screen, is 50% nylon, 30% polyester, and 10% spandex. Compared to Honor Active's Effortless, which is 52% polyamide, 37% polyester, and 11% elastane. So it's pretty much a few percentages off one percent for the spandex and elastane which are very comparable polyester is polyester that's about three percent off and then nylon and polyamide are one and the same and that's about four percent off so the makeup like i said reminds me a lot of the og material when i compare and feel them to different launches that have really varied from each one which is really interesting show you guys a little measurement of the inseam again the listing page does say 4.5 so I always measure from the center of the gusset four and a half inches the rise of the gusset to the waistband height is also about four and a half inches and then the rise of the actual waistband is about three and a half inches. Let's compare that to an Honor Active short, which looking at this right now, it looks like the gusset space to the waistband is much longer. And I've already felt like these newer effortless pieces have been running very baggy in the crotch space. So I'm interested to see how this kind of compares. So we'll do the inseam. These are supposed to be four and a half inches. Wow, this is like five and a half inches. Wow, five and a half inches from the crotch to the base of the waist. And then the waistband height is about a little bit over three and a half. These are the Honor Active Cool Brown. And actually, they feel very similar to the Amazon. Actually, almost identical to the Amazon compared to this is very slick and thin and kind of spongy yeah so if you have anything from like this cool brown this is the OG cool brown then I think you will and you like it then I think you'll like the Amazon so just to kind of compare these okay five and like a quarter that's a little bit shorter five inches three and a half so yeah, the rise on these is definitely shorter than the newer Effortless. I would say Cool Brown was on the OG side of the density of the waistband. If you like the OG density of the Effortless waistband, then you are going to be obsessed with the Amazon because in my opinion, it is literally the same where it holds its shape and structure. And I'll just compare that to a 12 Days of Gains. You can see how thin it is. I would say like half as thin to the OG. In the try-on clips, you guys are going to see that I wear a 
laser cut nude seamless thong just so I don't get the lines and then it makes it more squat proof when I'm wearing a color that's closest to my skin tone. So I'll link below in the description box the seamless brand that I use that are sports undie with a gusset that helps with sweat. So I don't really even get sweat stains. I used to get crotch sweat and I don't especially now that it's so hot it's summertime my gym doesn't really have ac i'm dripping everywhere else but my leggings are really dry so that really means a lot to me because it is kind of embarrassing when you look down and it looks like you peed your pants so i don't really have that issue anymore i will show you guys the logo which is pretty stark that's probably the one thing i don't love about these because it's an obvious comparison to another brand the logo does look very similar to an honor active logo um, it is like a printed logo similar to Honor Active's first release when they did Effortless with the printed logo. I just feel like it could be better if they did no logo. I don't know. I just love Amazon brands when I find them without a logo on it. It just makes me feel a little bit better about, I don't know, what I'm wearing. I just find it to be very stark when you have like a bolder colorway and then this bright white logo. So that's just something minor that I'm not a crazy fan of, but this is one of the colors that is supposed to be similar to Amethyst. And it's a really nice royal blue, which I think would flatter a lot of skin tones really nicely. I don't have any like purple leggings like this. So I wanted to cop a pair from Amazon and see how I like it before committing to something more expensive. They also have this color as well, which is a lighter shade of purple. I think this looks a lot like the lavender that came out. These two colors together, so cute. So I definitely wanted to introduce more purple into my wardrobe. I love this shade. This is a teal color that I think is supposed to be comparable to marine teal that Honor Active came out with. Was it around the birthday collection? Again, this is a very unique color and I really like this. They all pretty much have a light marl to the material, which I find really does enhance the way that the glutes look when you have that little bit of dimension. It's not too crazy on this one, but yeah, this amethyst one isn't super marled, but I love this. And then they also have this color, which when I saw it on the website, it reminded me of copper, but copper is definitely a little bit different than this version that they have. This is so cute. It's definitely screaming October pumpkin spice vibes. I think it looks beautiful on my tan skin right now. And I think colors like this are a good pop of color, but still kind of toned down where it's not so loud and in your face. And this one does have quite a bit of marl. So I'll do color comparisons with copper with that one and then this one is very similar to the electric blue which I have in a sports bra so I'll compare that as well this one is very vibrant and really in your face again this one doesn't have a super noticeable marl I would say it's very mild it's just so vibrant I love colors like this and it's very soft but slightly slick it doesn't have a super I was gonna say dry but that's not the right word like it's thick but it's slick versus the new honor active where it's thin and slick this is just a better fabric in my personal opinion and then I grabbed this beautiful blue which I think is supposed to be very similar to midnight this is such a rich vibrant navy and I really love this color again I think it's gonna flatter so many different skin tones especially like dark skin and brown skin, fair skin, medium skin, honestly any skin tone. This one has a lot of marl that's like, I would say like almost black. Could be a darker navy. So love this color. I don't know which one I love the most. This one is just really making me excited for October. So let me give you guys a little bit of a sheerness test with this material. It's, also keep in mind I'm using a little LED light. And it's very gloomy with the natural light that I have on right now. I wouldn't say this is anything terrible compared to my Honor Active reviews that I've recently uploaded. So it's definitely thick knit where it's close together and it's not pulling sheer or like white or anything like that. This is another one here. Very opaque. Definitely think this is going to be squat proof. Again, seamless, laser cut, nude thong underneath is going to be your best option. This one might be the most sheer if at all I still feel like it's opaque in this area 
and I have to really push hard for you guys to see the indent of my fingers there but this one is probably most likely to be sheer next to this light lavender so we'll see how that is honestly this isn't too bad it's not pulling white like I thought it would compared to some of these shades that I've reviewed before from Honor Active but I love colors like this I feel like they'll mix and match very nicely with other pieces that you already own the purple is definitely going to be squat proof and then this is such a stunning color this one might be in my top picks because I don't have a lot of look at that it's so opaque I don't have a lot of teal um, leggings and I recently just got into short shorts this summer I would say and I've always been about bikers but guys I was kind of forced to get into short shorts because nobody is doing bikers anymore like what the heck is up with that I have to feel that there's discrimination going on with brands not creating biker shorts like we need coverage too a lot of us are being left out of majority of these launches because there's no bikers being offered and it sucks but I feel like it kind of like I said forced me to get into shorter length inseams and I do really like short shorts and I think I've been buying a lot of short shorts and by short short I mean 4.5 is short short to me okay Anything below five inches is short shorts. Um, I have long legs and I think it just looks even shorter on me proportionally. So I just feel like this year I was venturing out into the short short world and kind of put myself on to trying more affordable brands and getting more color options because I have been reaching for them being that it is so hot and I do feel like they flatter me. My biggest concern with wearing short shorts has always been the chafing which is why I prefer biker length. And also I feel like bikers you get more fabric so it doesn't roll as much and also again proportionally on me it just looks a lot better than having like a booty short whatever. So I do feel like the chafing thing like still does happen to me but I use anti-chafe stick and I now keep it in my gym bag and it has changed my life. It has changed my life okay. So I did put that on my Amazon storefront that's the only negative for me personally why I don't like short shorts. But again, if they are 4.5, I think that is doable, especially when you have a stretchy fabric like this, because you're able to kind of play with it. It does tend to look longer on than when you just hold it up. And I know that's kind of weird, but it's because it's so freaking stretchy. Some girls hike their shorts up really short. That's just not for me personally. I don't like when it cups just the booty cheeks and then I, I just don't find that flattering and or comfortable or hygienic in the gym spaces when I'm sitting down I, I don't know I don't like parts of my body touching the gym equipment and like I don't know that's just a personal problem whatever but I just feel like more length is more flattering on my proportions and I feel more comfortable but I don't think that these roll because they also have like I said, the Honor Active ones have about a half an inch of a seam here. It's actually stretchy at the thigh. Sometimes you get rolling when the thigh opening is too wide because it's kind of just not really compressing the leg enough. So I think when you get a size that fits you, that's great. And also I could see why they recommend sizing down if in between because again, it's so stretchy. If it was restrictive here, like some effortless pieces that have come out, more stiffer launches like 12 days of gains, then you might risk ripping your leggings, etc. But because this fabric is so freaking stretchy, if you want to avoid the rolling when squatting or walking around or simply just standing up some shorts will do that then definitely consider sizing down for a more snug fit but very comfortable on but also still very flattering and again if you like the effortless I think you're going to really love these especially if you like more of like the OG effortless material where it's a little bit thicker but still soft I think you'll be surprised I just confirmed my order and these are actually all in a medium which is my normal honor active size so very freaking stretchy I always roll my waist because again I have no torso this color definitely looks like minky I definitely think these are very short like if you love a short inseam then these are gonna be amazing for you still wish there was a biker short option which I haven't really come across a lot on Amazon but as far as the fit, I think these are definitely the same as your normal honor active size, especially like in the waistband. It's not super, uh, what's the word, restrictive. It definitely does stretch with you and I don't get any spillage up here. So the website says size down. I think if in between you could size up. It's definitely not cutting into my thighs. 
especially when this is like the thick part but because my thighs are thick here and there's barely any inseam these are definitely gonna roll because they're so short like it needs to be a little bit longer um, again because this thigh opening too I'm noticing is very stretchy in comparison to some honor active ones where it's more stiff um, there's not a lot of compression if there was more compression it wouldn't really roll as much so definitely keep that in mind with a fabric like this that is very soft and again very freaking forgiving and stretchy these are definitely gonna roll this for me personally is too short to work out in the gym because my i guess it's like a pocket of fat i prefer that to be covered and it's not because this will definitely hike its way up it's just a little too short personally sorry my dog is sleeping right here i don't want to step on him but I can just see how it's rolling and that's a big pet peeve so definitely a con for me personally as far as sheerness this is definitely not sheer I feel like these are also squat proof These ones feel a little bit longer than the previous color. And this one, I don't have to roll the waistband. So I'll do a flat leg comparison so you guys can see any differences between them. But this is really flattering. And there's not a lot of, actually there's no extra material sitting at the top of the glutes. So I'd say if you have short glutes, this is definitely a flattering fit where it's not like baggy in this area like some newer honor active pieces have been it's very comfortable and i would say this pair is definitely true to size okay these remind me of the minky ish color that they're a little bit more stretchy than the amethyst colorway i also feel like these maybe have a little extra length but then again, I do feel like these ones will probably end up Well, no, they didn't really roll. Kind of just wanted to shimmy up a little bit. This one I'll definitely have to roll the waistband because it comes up very high. This one has a little extra material than the amethyst, but also this just feels more slick and stretchy like the first minky color and i don't think these are maybe slightly sheer but again i have on nude underneath seamless and i don't think that you can see okay this one feels a little bit different they definitely all feel a little bit different so i don't know if there's a difference between like a collection again these are just all going to be a little too short for me but if you don't have such thick thighs or you are a shorter more petite girl and your thighs aren't so freaking long like mine then girl you will love these okay but for me this is just a little too short i love the color though again i think this is definitely going to be squat proof really flattering though with the contour detail on the glutes Yeah, I think this one, the more, I don't want to say restrictive, but it just feels thicker slightly and holds you in a little bit more. Those ones don't roll. Like these two so far have felt very similar and don't roll when I squat. If anything, like I said, it almost wants to like pull up, which is a different feeling than these ones completely rolling. So maybe the lighter colors, I'll let you guys know. At the end of the try on which ones are more slick ultra stretchy i would say versus something that actually holds you in a little bit more and offers more of like lift to the glutes okay this one's definitely more on the stretchier side where i could see this one wanting to roll up i've also noticed that the stretchier ones are a little bit more high rise again because the material is more stretchy you could literally pull these so freaking far if you wanted but if you hear 
The waistband is really going to snatch you up. This one, like I said, the stretchier ones, I tend to have to roll. Again, these are just very short. This one, again, is probably going to be the only other one that's going to be more sheer. And I can see that just standing up. Yeah, it's starting to roll. So, the stretchier ones roll, the stiffer ones don't. Okay, these are very freaking cute color-wise. I love teals and honestly I don't buy enough of them. This one definitely pulls more green. I think this one also doesn't have extra material at the top. I think this one's definitely good for legs. Definitely not going to be see-through. This one, to me, feels more stretchy again, which is surprising because this is more on the dark side. I, again, feel like it's just very stretchy in the body of the legging. This one looks better to me folded over. Waistband is still snug, so I would recommend sizing up. If you don't want it to be like squeezing and being too compressive, but keep that in mind with the leg opening that you'll definitely get more stretch. You might get more length in it too, which might benefit you. But these, again, they're just so short. They're definitely going to roll, which is a pet peeve of mine. So this is horrible. That's exactly what I don't like. Because then my workout is going to be me focused on pulling these down. And that was just from doing a couple of squats so I love this color super cute if you don't mind your shorts rolling these are definitely a 10 out of 10 material wise softness stretchiness this one also i feel runs like the stretchier ones i don't know like it's very interesting so in conclusion these were the only two that i didn't really experience rolling when doing the squat test um i think these actually fit just like on our active sizing where it is more tight in the waistband and then stretchier in the body of the legging so keep that in mind when selecting your sizing like it just depends on how you, I guess you want your waistband to fit these remind me of like older effortless sizing where it was really tight in the waist and I always thought that fluttered the best so again these ones are definitely gonna roll And I can see how it hiked its way up. I just don't like that look personally on me. Do what you love. But uh, I don't feel comfortable, which is why I just like a biker short. But that's just a me problem. Plenty of people clearly love short shorts. So that's just my overall thoughts on the sheerness and the, yeah, this one's definitely squat proof. Beautiful color. Sheerness, the fit, the sizing, and then the color selection. I've lined up all of the waistbands. Again, this is size medium. I would say the only ones that are a little bit noticeably big with the flat lay would be the teal and then this navy blue. Teal and then the navy blue run a little bit bigger than the rest, but lengthwise, I think they're pretty much all the same. Waistband, pretty much the same. The Also, I tried these on just now, so they might be a little stretched out versus when you first get them, but hey, we're going to wear them anyway, so I feel like this is accurate. The bright blue is showing to be a little bit, maybe like a quarter of an inch longer in the waist, but I would say they're pretty much the same, especially when I had them on. Again, these two here were the most stay in place on my thigh whereas the rest of these are very stretchy and rolled again i will link them in the description box for you guys to check out again more colors than what i have to show you guys here i think these are some of my favorites that they do in comparison to like the contour i just prefer effortless and it's a shame that 
we don't have a biker option but maybe they will hear this and they will give us a biker link i think they would do really well because the thick thigh community needs love too but i guess people in the fashion industry collectively had just decided cut the bikers which is unfortunate for me if you're looking to shop on a budget for some new activewear or maybe you want to try effortless but you don't want to spend a ton of money or whatever maybe you have prime and you want to get free shipping these shipped super quick then i think this is great especially with how easy it is to return if they don't happen to work out for you again a lot of color options to choose from i hope you guys enjoy these amazon activewear reviews thumbs up if you guys do and if you find them to be helpful it really does let me know what type of videos you guys like from me i do a lot of activewear reviews as someone that is obsessed with gym clothes and that's majority of what i tend to wear in my day-to-day -day life but i also do gym vlogs and workout videos and grocery grocery hauls and meal prep with me's and a ton more content so definitely check out my youtube channel and subscribe if you guys are new here and you want to kind of get that gym bestie feel baby that's why i'm here to motivate you because i need the motivation too that's why i come on here to talk to you guys so i hope to see you guys next time and stay tuned